It'd be really easy for us to just sort of hang out here in the, in the traffic management center and, and watch traffic move by, but that's not really how we like to operate. We want to provide the safest, most efficient transportation network for all of our modes of transportation. Cary is a rapidly growing mid-sized municipality, I would say at this point. We have about 175,000 residents. We sit in the Research Triangle. We're just west of Raleigh and just south of Durham. We have a really good relationship with the city of Raleigh as well, which is the second largest city and also the capital in North Carolina. So good opportunity to work with them in a, in a larger system to sort of understand maybe where we're going and what we're looking at. So uh, it's good to have a partner agency like that near you. We have a highly educated population here that's eager and willing to embrace new technology. The park system that we provide in our Greenway Trail systems, a couple years back our Parks and Rec Department won the gold medal for um, Parks and Rec Services. Uh, we have about 90 miles of Greenway Trail that are used either for recreation or for transit for folks. We had a good opportunity several years back to completely upgrade our entire traffic management center. Uh, in that time with that project, we decided to look for not just what is good now, what's sort of scalable to the future, and what can we do to sort of make ours unique so we can get some more benefit out of it. We have 219 traffic signals, but we have 167 CCTV cameras. That gives us an opportunity to, to really know what's going on in intersections, more so than just pulling through data and, and looking at numbers. We can actually physically see what's going out there. As a growing municipality, it's important to get our fire services to where they need to be. We don't have an unlimited amount of funding uh, and we need to build fire stations uh, accordingly. They're not getting any cheaper to build either. So we need to make sure we're as efficient as possible with getting our fire trucks and our other fire apparatus as well as our other emergency vehicles to incidences that they need to be at. So if we can give them green lights along our corridor, as well as I think we're timed now, providing green lights all the way guaranteed would be even better for them. Transit is a growing demand service in Cary, and although we have routes that mostly are running on time, we do have some that struggle. So if we can give those corridors that are struggling a little bit of extra green time to ensure they're staying on time to get to the folks that need our services, then that's beneficial. One of the goals we really wanted to achieve was to have an entire network covered with connected vehicles. We didn't want to limit it to a corridor that would benefit certain people. We're doing everything. So we realized if we wanted to really understand how connected vehicles would work, we need to get it into as many vehicles as possible. And that would be the onboard unit that everybody carries around in their back pocket every day, and that's their cell phone. Uh, anywhere you go, whether you're walking, whether you're on your bike, or whether you're in your friend's car, you've got that onboard unit with you to share that information with them as well. Being able to notify folks when they're in a school zone is hugely important to us. We're also really excited about pedestrian notifications, allowing pedestrians to be able to notify drivers that they're there, they need a little bit of time, a little bit of guidance, a little bit of respect too, uh, will be hugely impactful. And then finally, railroad preemption. This part of the triangle was born out of the railroad. It runs the heart of most of our municipalities in this area. We need to make sure that drivers know when railroads are closing streets so they can plan the routes accordingly. Red light. We're working with our neighbors already. We have municipalities around us that are using or are looking at using this, this same system we have. And if we're able to continue that benefit of connectivity along many of our major corridors that head in and out of towns, it just makes everything better for everybody. Not just our citizens, not just our emergency services, but everything in between. So yeah, I would say it's, it's an achievable goal, but to have the safest, most efficient multimodal transportation network in the country would be our goal. Get ready for green.